PC gamers, it's me, Anthony, and today we are playing Minecraft. Excuse me. Wait, what? I guess it was nothing. Okay, let's turn the volume down. What? Steve? What? What the heck is that? What's that? Okay, I'm not. Nope. Get away. Okay. Welcome, book. Whatever. <gasps> There's glasses. Can we move? <gasps> you can wear them. How do you read this? I don't know. Let's just go. So, guys, today we are doing a dropper med. Um, mm. <laughs> Hi. Do you want to play hide and seek? If you win, I'll give you a prize. I hide in the theater sometimes. They're awfully cozy. Am I here? Am I there? Come see. Come find me. And we can play. Forever and ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Whose man's is this? Okay, so right now, what's in here? Okay, act one. What's this? The Howling Forest. When little Timmy and Ben asked their parents if they could go camping, they said no. There's wolves out there. It's oh, gee. too dangerous, his mother said. We'll take a trip somewhere else next summer. But little Timmy and Ben didn't listen, and they didn't want to wait. Okay, you guys that this night, story. they climbed down the dark steps to the cellar and packed their camping kit. Sleeping bags, lights, snacks, and most importantly, marshmallows. They snuck out into the forest, going deeper and deeper into the they woods until they found their spot. In between trees, shielded from the wind, a level ground, and no parents. Timmy and Ben quickly built a fire and got out their roasting sticks. The marshmallows softly go. sizzled over the embers of their fire, and their laughter rang out through the trees. Their parents would never find out, they giggled. Oh, but they did. Only two days later, when they found a ruined campsite. Okay. So, I don't... Nope, 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 nope. See you later. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, fine. I guess we have to do this. <sighs> okay. Go. Okay, let's hear the narration. Timmy and Ben had gorged themselves on candy and chocolate. Their tummies were bloated, and all they could do was lie on their Dang backs. It. I think I ate too many marshmallows, Ben said. Me too, Timmy said. Ben clutched his belly. I think I need to take a tinkle. And he wandered off into the woods. The first ten minutes Ben was gone, Timmy wasn't worried. But after thirty minutes passed, Dang Timmy it. was trembling in his shoes. Where was Ben? Why hadn't he come back? Ben? He called out, but there was no answer. Where was the ben? wind whistled between the gaps of the trees, and everything seemed sinister. But little Timmy was yes. brave. Maybe Ben had just fallen asleep. Timmy stood up, took his light, and tried to track Ben's footsteps from the camp. First, they led to a tree, but then there were more tracks, and they weren't just footprints. A large, wide press, like a sledge, had been dragged across the forest floor. Ben must have found something one? big and dragged it somewhere. He was probably trying to hide it from Timmy. He always did annoying things I like really that. He that never one. wanted to share. Timmy followed the tracks until they led to an old spelunking cave. The iron grates in front of the cave had rusted and bent. Loose cobwebs hung on the bars fluttering gently as cold air flowed out of the cave. Timmy hated spiders, but this is where Ben went, so that is where he must go. Besides, little Timmy had a light, 
and little Timmy was brave. Okay, I don't know what the story's going. You guys can listen to it. Inside the cave, spiders wow. scuttled away from Timmy's <laughs> light, crawling into small cracks. The larger ones stayed their ground, eyeing little Timmy as if to dare him to break their way. But he oh, didn't. we have to go in the mouth Timmy of the dragon. and squeezed past any gap that he could. Ben was down there somewhere. Dang it. A bat squeaked and flew out of the cave as Timmy approached, and he yelled out in surprise. I'm trying not After to talk, he realized, so you guys Timmy can laughed at his foolishness. It was just a bat, not scary at all. Just then, he heard soft footsteps approaching him from the other side of the cave. Ben? He called out, but no answer. Ben, if that's you, stop it, it's not funny. The footsteps stopped. Ben? Little Timmy raised the light above his head, peering into the darkness, but he couldn't see anything. He walked further into the yeah, cave, guys. every muscle tensing in his body, willing him to turn back. But little Timmy was brave. He wouldn't run from footsteps. Just then, Timmy saw a dark figure move in the shadows. Ben? He called out. Nope. But it nope. wasn't no No, 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 no. What is that? <laughs> okay. Two days of rain followed little Timmy and Ben's camping trip, clearing away their tracks, but their parents still searched for them. A whole search party scoured the forest, but it was only on the second day that they found Timmy and Ben's campsite. The tents were torn and shredded. The food they hadn't eaten scattered across the floor, soggy marshmallows and sandwiches left by a fire that had long since fizzled out. They never found Timmy or Ben. The only thing left was Ben's coat, caught on the prickly branches of a pine tree. Okay. If this girl starts talking again. Okay. And it stop. It's creepy, my dudes. It's very creepy. I think we're gonna do parts to this, cause the wicked pumpkin. Shouts and screams because, chased the witch of Westwick um, back to her hut in the forest. The locals had caught on. Okay. She had been too careless flying on her broom, and now they knew she was a witch. Oh, what, what Over the heck her did I do? She could see the bright fires of torches, um, their light gleaming off the villagers' pitchforks and scythes. Her life near Westwick was over. She would Dang have it. to set up somewhere else. But first, she had to deal with the peasants. Concoctions and potions raced through her head oh, as she bro, navigated why her I was following trees. Me? An invisibility potion would do the trick, but she didn't have the right ingredients. What the heck? She would have to improvise. Her cat was waiting Stop. at the doorstep, I keep but she had no time to lose. She would only have a precious few minutes before the villagers would be at her door. It's right down there, too. Friggit. Dang it. This one's hard, guys. Like, I want to go to the left side, though. What the heck? It's right down there. Come on. Are you kidding me? Come on, it's right down there. Oh my god. Look how close I was. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh, I did it. I did it. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I actually did it. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Did you guys see that, right? Did you guys pause on the video? Did you see that? Not above me. Before we end this video, guys, I want to see this wolf thing I talked about. I don't know what it was talking about. Where's the thing? Maybe it's like by here. It's right there, maybe. Can't hit that one. Oh, I have to unlock. Oh, I have to unlock the full outfit. Then I can get it. Okay. Okay, guys. So that is the end of the video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.